Hey guys, Doughboy back here with another Destiny 1 story playthrough. We are finally done with uh, the expansions. We've finished Vanilla, done with both Dark Below and House of Wolves. We're on to the Taken King, officially year two of Destiny. There are eight story missions in the Taken King, followed by the Rise of Iron with, I believe, six, maybe even less, maybe five. Anyways, point is, we're more than halfway through, um, and we're only on year two, so that, that shows the con content drought that we had um, in the second and third years of Destiny. Which was unfortunate, because obviously Destiny was a great game. Um, I just wish we had you know more content to play um, from the start. But anyways, we got eight missions here. If you can tell already, uh, my brother's tagging along. Um, Hi, glad he's here, because I didn't have the. I had a checkpoint that wouldn't let me. Uh, something was weird in this mission, coming war. I had a checkpoint, wouldn't let me reset it. So he's here. So um, as long as he doesn't skip this cutscene this time. We should be good to go. Um, there's 16 exotics in the Taken King, which means with eight missions, I'm gonna have to be really quick and do two per mission, because I would like to keep them like in the expansion that they came out in. So we'll do two per mission. Rocket through them. There's some notables, some not so notables. We'll start with some not no, not so notable notables. Um, but anyways, let's get right into it. So Ryan, go ahead and start it up. Enjoy the cutscene. It's a lengthy one, but really uh, give me chills. The uh, first time I listened to it in a while, so. I was born the moment the Traveler died, as everything collapsed around us. Before that day, there had never been a ghost. There had never been a guardian. I don't know much about the Traveler, but I know it made me to bring you back. And I spent a really really long time searching for you. The Cosmodrome? Not the first place I looked. As I saw the other ghosts find their guardians, and the centuries went by, I wondered if I'd ever find you. And then, I did. I remember everything about the day I was born. I still bear the scars. The Awoken are my family now. And I am their queen. to keep our beautiful creation safe. And now this beast has come, claiming to be king. Marasav bows to no one. You and I know how this ends. We've known since you escaped from that pit.
The Awoken have played their part. This was all part of the plan. Guide them, my hidden friend. It is all up to you now. I want to dock here quick. Okay, so that was a long cutscene. Um, so, two things notable there. The Queen, Marasov, she's presumed dead, but found later that she's not dead. We just don't know where she is. And then uh, her brother was presumed dead, but now I guess he's the Kel of a, of a fallen house. So he's presumed dead, or I think he... It, we, actually, he wasn't dead, presumed dead. We didn't know his whereabouts, but now we know he's emerged as a Kel of a fallen house. So interesting there. That will probably be more storyline in Destiny 2. And then here we go. Should be another cutscene here. About the start of our first mission. So that's just loading in. Here we go. I believe. Guardian, this is Commander Zavala. The Cabal base on Phobos is blasting a signal across all channels. They're willing to break transmission signals. This could be a prelude to a full-scale assault. We're setting down on Phobos now. I'll be monitoring your feed, Ghost. Good luck to you both. Okay. So the first exotic I'll be using is the Titan exclusive. I'll wait for this guy, he's gonna talk quick. I believe. So it's a Fabian t strategy. Titan exclusive. Uh, auto rifle. Received a buff. Now in close quarters it fires much quicker. Got co crowd control. What else? Doesn't have a ornament like other weapons. Front lines. Increased handling. Stability and rate of fire when enemies are close. Skills automatically reload a portion of the mag. So I buffed it. It's, still, it's pretty good now. It's just... You know, it doesn't really do much. It is good, but you know, other weapons like shotgun could do just as good and not take up an exotic up to, not take up an exotic slot. So could be better. So we gotta run in here. Zavala, the cabal are evacuating with extreme prejudice. They're getting torn up down here. So the yeah, oh, scandal things. I will scan this quick, I believe, if I can find it. I'm not going to scan all these because I'm going to miss some. Skyburner's regiment. Dead, obviously. There are no other guardians here. I wonder who put them down. Something has drawn us here. I can feel it. Guardian, I've asked Eris Morn to monitor the channel. I hear. Whispers in the dark. Oh. Wait, what? What? What am I supposed to do? No, you're good, you're good, you're good. Um. Oh, so confused. No, I was waiting for the dialogue to be over. So anyways, um, so All that right. thing I just scanned, that was introduced in, uh, Taken King. Where there's just scannable things, you can get more lore, which is great. So that's just one, you know, I'm not gonna hit all those, because I don't know where all those are. I can't remember those off the top of my head. And those are something you can go explore on your own if you want to. Um. There's not much. I mean, some of them they give a little bit extra insight, but you'll get what with the gist of what's going on by just watching. Um, but that's good signs for Destiny too, because that's that's actually information in game by just scanning. I'll hit some of them if I see them. If they have time. But I also I know these videos are going to be kind of long, so I want to save as much time as I can. So we're gonna investigate the base. So it's just thing here, we don't know why the Cabal, you know, Cabal are big scary war beasts. Why are they evacuating? I, I think I'm going the wrong way, Ryan. We found an elite Destiny player here leading to a dead end. There's a wisp. What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? Or it's just the scan. The I'm not gonna scan them, though. My mind. Yes. Thank you for your input, Eris. But there. Good example, just different dialogue. Like in Dusty One, they didn't say what the hell was that. 
and the weird shit that makes you laugh. You'll see definitely in the next mission. Whispers are louder. I will endure. So there's nothing fighting us. We're just running through. There's just they speak a word, a name. There's a. I kill this guy. Sorry, you have your thing pops? Because this is an ultra. Hold on. What I'm talking about is the three of coins. These guys with the uh, triangle and the skull. So these are ultras. Pretty easy. You know, that's. There's no enemies that look like these. I'm talking about the bar on top. They, they're all named enemies. Most of them. Some are bugged, but most of these guys will give you a chance on exotic if you pop three of coins. This guy. Can I kill him with the sword? Or do a ground pound? Yep, you know he hurts. I'm gonna go there. So using this weapon a little. So see how in close quarters it fires much quicker. Good job there, Ryan. Did you get an exotic? No, nothing. I did not. Okay. You have seen his face. It was his hand that transformed the Kabal. This mission is scrubbed. Guardian, get to your ship and get out of there. Okay, so if you didn't notice, I just switched my exotic. Now I'm using the chaperone. I think I have an ornament on it. No, I don't. That is the original look. Um, shotgun. But if you notice the difference, there's only one hole. This fires slugs. I believe there's only one hole. Yeah. One hole. This fires slugs. It's a little bit more range, a little bit more damage. Um, then Roborn. Let me read the... Stat tree. Right, you want to kill these guys for me because I'm lazy. Have at it. Survivor, three rapid pre precision kills while born on the road is active or return two rounds to the chamber. So like a triple double, like a trip it's a it's like it's a triple tap but better. Um and then the the road born. Precision kills briefly grant handling bonus. Handling range and precision damage. Sorry, I read that completely wrong. Take two. Uh, precision kills, briefly grant bonus, handling, range, and precision damage to this weapon. So basically, if you can chain some kills, you can get lots of bonuses with it. Uh, fun weapon, cool weapon to use. Um, but just getting, because not only do you have to activate it, so you have to activate it with a headshot, like I just did. And then within that 10 second time limit, as you see counting down the left hand of my screen, you have to get three more kills to make use of it. So there's another scannable thing. It's so a bunch of them littered all through these missions. Again, I'm not gonna hit them all. The bases are lost. We have reports of these taken across the system. Go, get out. So the rest of this mission is basically just escaping. Um, so kill some enemies or just be a true destiny player and just run by everything. How far? See you, Ryan. Our ship's landing across the airfield. What the? Hurry. I think you're gonna die. Did you make that jump? Come down there now. You did. Nice. Oh, I'm good. I'm gonna leave without you because it's easier. And I'm a douche. See, normally hunters are the ones that just leave their fire team behind. I am a hunter though, at heart, so that's why. Even though I'm not sighting. Almost there. Ow. No. So th all these enemies are taken. So it's a different race, but they're not really a different race. Okay, they are a different race, but if you notice, they all look like. So these are phalanxes, which are uh, other cabal. So they all look normal. But they're taken a little bit different color scheme, obviously. And I will shut up for this cutscene. Please do the same. Zavala, we made it to our ship. We're heading home. Okay, that's it for the first mission. Let's quickly go to the second mission, Ryan. So back out, hold triangle. And then the next mission will be on Earth. 
Oh, we have a cutscene. Did not know that. belong to you. The rest await extermination. No. Gather them. I will take them all. My contacts near Saturn say the weapon fired only once. It's not like the Queen to attack a superior force. How could she have known? How could anyone? We need a warlock inside the Dreadnought. Here we go. Our first priority must be to protect the city. Our Guardian got a good look on Phobos. Whatever it was, it turned Cabal against Cabal, wiped out their base in minutes. How long would we last? Until we understand what we're dealing with. They... are taken. Eris, get your rock off my map. It hasn't spoken since Crota fell. It speaks now, because Oryx has arrived. Come to fulfill the final covenant of his son. But why fight the Cabal? Not fighting. Taking. Controlling their will. So we focus on his army. Kill these taken until he's all that's left. Whatever you kill, Oryx will replace. The Dreadnought, then. How do we get past that weapon? Without ending up like the Awoken. I gotta go, uh, see about a ship. Kate, our discussion is not yet concluded. Oh, I know. That's why I'm leaving. So as you can tell by that cutscene, the characters actually have character. Now, you know, Cade's a lone warrior, Zavala's a badass hero, uh, Ikora, uh, smart, logical, um, and Eris Morn, she's kind of had a character, she came in in Dark Below, so she definitely, definitely had that eerie character, kind of like that, I don't know what you call that, just mystical, like, don't know where she's coming from, like, what power she has kind of feeling. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, this, with all those cutscenes, we're already at 20 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off here. Um, we'll also have to do another, I think the last mission takes a little while, so we'll do that one in one episode. So I'll cut it off here. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch our streams. My streams are Sunday through Thursday, midnight until 2, starting earlier on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, with occasional midday stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then, Ryan, what are your streams again? It's really just random. It's whenever you have work. It's random. Whenever I have work. I have work generally. This is a Saturday night, so it's an oddity. Usually I'm at work right now, so thank God I'm not. Um, but usually he'll be streaming uh, anywhere from Thursday through Monday from about 6 to 11, anywhere in there. Um, he'll try to get into a more steady stream cycle as my work uh, gets a little bit more consistent and uh, he gets ready. Good, you know. Anyways, but once Destiny 2 comes, actually, I think he might be kicked out of my room for a while, so... We'll balance it out. So, thanks. Uh, catch you next time. Mm -hmm. uh, catch out Ryan's channel. What's your channel again, Ryan? Your YouTube channel? Racing in the Insider. And you do what? I racing Ryan videos and NASCAR crashes? And fights? Yes. Okay. Sometimes fights. Hopefully fights. <laughs> well, Bristol's next week. Well, actually, by the time this goes out, I'll probably be past Bristol. So, if there's any fights, if you're a NASCAR fan, go watch uh, Racing Insider. He'll, he'll, he'll have all you of them up there. You're not a NASCAR fan. If you are a NASCAR fan. Anyways, catch you guys next time. See ya.